bring a little revelation. That word in the original language is apocalypsis. They often pronounce that in the English, apocalypse. It's not doom and gloom. It's bringing forth the knowledge before known, God's love within you. Now look at this. Why does God allow difficulties to happen? He's using the kiss technique. God is kissing you. Keep it simple, stupid. Talking to your own carnal mindedness, non-spiritual mindedness. He's bringing you back into his higher ways, his loving, righteous ways, okay? Keep it simple, stupid. When God kisses us on the inside in our thinking and we agree in, we're resting and relying in God, not in ourself. His kisses, he kisses the methane gas from that poop thinking, that shit's thinking, seeing, hearing, taste, that just smell, relying on upon our own eye, ego in the center instead of Christ, we get crap and it produces methane gas of one's own incorrect way is ignited. Boom, it's consumed. God is a consuming fire and he's refining it up into his higher golden nature, God's character, his loving righteousness way. The, the, the methane gas of our own poop thinking is ignited and transformed like chemically, like garbage thinking is transformed and always in an upward manner. The energy in that, the spirit of, in that, in that natural thing, that trash, that garbage, just like in our natural mind, that carnal mindedness, that what got, what's of God in there is not decreasing. That's increase. But that carnal mindedness must decrease and God must increase. Like in John chapter three, verse I think it's either 20 or 30. I'm not sure about the address. I forget, but it's in there. God must increase. Uh, he must increase and I must decrease. Okay. Um, I've done videos on that. You can go back and look for them. Okay. Um, the incorrectness must decrease and the, the spirit of God in it, the energy is always brought up just like it's burning up the garbage thinking and bringing it up higher a superior way of thinking this other good and evil stuff is inferior god's ways are always superior we don't have to understand them we won't understand them they're contrary to our good and evil ways i just want the easy peasy way or it just is not god god is only doing good yes he is doing good but you're not understanding it correctly you got to change your per perception and see God is kissing you. He's giving you an opportunity to kiss him back. Huh? And in that tough, sp tough stuff, when the rubber's meeting the road and you're going, oh, no, your carnal mind's saying, here's a lollipop, man. And you just ever get mean and bad about it. Stand up. You got the right. Boom, boom, to fight. Oh, yeah. And eat some more of your own crap. Your shit's thinking. Huh? Because your seeing, hearing, taste, that's the smell is all about the me, myself, and I right there in the log in your eye. Get that log out, and then you can help others get splinter out of their eye. But not with that log in your eye. You're just going to mess things up no matter what kind of good or evil you're doing. You're condemning. And there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in. E-N, right? That's resting. It's in with relation to resting God. It's not poop thinking. God's going to explode that stuff up. Boom! In your wooden shit. Remember, shit wasn't even a cuss word. That, what does that mean? You know, they use like dung, poop, scat. You know, when they walked around with sandals or without any shoes, you know they stepped in poop all the time. What was it? Jesus went and washed your bro washed the feet of others. Then he said, "Wash your brother's feet, huh?" Hmm. That's washing your lifestyle. What's this? God's kissing you. Keep it simple, stupid. Quit walking, living, existing in your own poop thinking, and getting more and more methane gas in the confined space of your own carnal mind. Quit being a dumb donkey. In other words, huh? Do you get it? Okay, so let's read this again. 
you can read it yourself. You can blow it up on here. I'll put it on Facebook for you so you can type it and expand it, okay? Keep it simple, stupid. God's given us opportunities with these difficulties to agree with him. See, when God kisses us in our mind, huh? We uh, and we agree in him. Hmm? That's E N. And E I S is into, right? Huh? Right? You see, you come from out of ek, ice, E I S, into, huh? And then the pros way is to your advantage in a pro way, P R O, that's. It's a superior way coming back into the E N and S Y N. E N is resting in God, and S Y N is into union with God. You're coming out of your poop ways back in. All that is within that word meta, which means in the midst of you. What's going on in the midst of you in your mind, in the highest place in your body? Huh? It's, I'm break, trying to break this down and show you. Through all this stuff, I'm pressing into God. And it, sometimes a fall, stagger, arr, arr, a little hard at times. Sometimes I can pull through it. Sometimes I can't just pull through it. Some of these things with just like deaths of my closest ones. My loving wife and then my kitty that was like almost, man, was right with my wife Lisa and me through a lot of hard stuff. It, it really hurt, but I got to go on. See, a wise, a, a righteous man falls huh, seven times, not completely, but he rises, rise again. Okay, he's coming back to God. Don't just get stuck on that uh, King James bull crap, huh? That's only a start. Get down in there, study, 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 and then more importantly, whenever it's time to go. Get that increase from God and let him explode. Let him kiss you. God's trying to kiss you. And you say, oh, no, that fire bad. No, it's going to explode that methane gas in your own confined space of your mind. Oh, yeah, let's blow that shit up, right? Huh? We're not cussing that way. To call God a monster and he's going to condemn you to hell, that's the worst blasphemy you can do. Well, God, you really flipped out and turned into a monster and you're going to kill us, kill us, kill us, and we're, we're in worse trouble than if it was in Hitler's back pocket or some pedophile eating their lollipops and, uh, uh, nah, some serial killer, uh, nah, they, they got it all messed up. That's that carnal mind trying to trick you, saying the enemy is outside of it. No, no, no. Your enemy is that false accuser in your own mind. To be carnally minded is dead. Death, right? Ew. Oh no. You're killing yourself. Quit it. Just keep it simple, stupid. God loves you. Why do we come to God? Because He first loved us. Huh? Not because we love Him and then maybe we'll just be all right with No, no, no. You're 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 being tricked by your own donkey. Telling you, here's a carrot. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. You can't grab it that way. Huh? Almost had it there. Or you're just holier than thou. And you got your head buried in your own sand, thinking, and it's got poop in it. Kind of like a litter, litter box of a cat. Oh no. Not again. My papa man, it stinks in here. Methane gas again. In my ship. See a ship going through a wooden ship. They're transporting like manure. And when that thing heats up, methane gas starts going off. And when they go down in there to check stuff, they, and they have to use like a, a lantern or a light, like uh, they didn't have flashlights and all that stuff. They had to just like use a torch or a candle or something. What happens when you take a flame, an open flame, down in to a little like pit of your carnal mind, of your own mind, or down into the hull of your ship, their wooden ship, speaking of your own humanistic thinking, in the highest place in your mind where there's a 666, six, six, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, in your mind, speaking of the, huh, in your forehead, in your mind, and in your hand, in your works, your efforts, 
you're going, me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I, with that scene here, taste, that's a smell. It is shit's diarrhea thinking. And there's methane gas in there. Right? Because things are heating up in the trials in your life. You're not seeing God is kissing you. You're thinking it's to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. Hee haw, hee haw, and I believe that crap. Huh? I got some imaginary monster out there. Man, that devil's really beating me up. No. Oh, quit that daggone facade. Grow up. Wake up, you sleepers. Lots of ways, it says it. Looking for all. Don't give that carnal mind, that devil, that false accuser, huh? Diabolos, that's an adjective, huh, describing that, that critter in your mind, that ego, telling you, rah, 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 rah. are you all the greatest, man, you're just for a whole year than now, aren't you, buddy, patting you on the back and it's stabbing you, every time it can, oh, I didn't do it, I didn't do that, yeah, it, it is, don't eat that stuff, man, it's a, it's like that serpent nature. It's more subtle than any beast in your field, in your mind. You don't realize what's going on. And it's not going to happen overnight. I'm opening this crap up. God's opening it up through me, through some really difficult things. And it's not going to happen just one time. Boom, I'm just going to crowd the line and jump up there. I'm going to do it one time, and then I'll just wait on the rapture bus. No, that's not the way it, not the way it works. You got to do it God's way, not your daggone stinking way. God's bringing it back. He's bringing you up in your mind, huh? And then it'll reflect out the grace of God. That Kari C H A R I S. Hmm. That's God's influence, the divine influence in your heart, huh? In your mind, not a blood pump, and not in your just your brain, no. It's in the way you think. God's changing you from the poop way to his higher way, his superior way. God's loving righteousness. God's love is child. It's the love beyond the mere description of words. It's limitless. Our love for charm is the way is our ability to love God as he first loved others. As, uh, love God as he loves us, right? Huh? As he first loved us, right? And that's infinite. Our way is very limited, so we can't increase our way at all by ourselves. But by agreeing with God in these storms when this methane gas is heating up down in our ship, in our confined space, like the little balls, and a little ball within a ball within a ball, God goes deep, deep, deeper, huh, to the third realm in there, inside of you. Whoa, way down before you, can, you can't even imagine it. Huh? Your carnal mind said, man, that's my own stuff. Don't you dare touch that. It's just my stuff. I'm protecting it. It's a guarded city. A walled city. Defensive. It's insecure. Hmm. It's like that uh, Ninevite city that God sent Jonah to. And he didn't want to go, man, I'm going to go out on vacation and go to this. Huh? This vacation out here and have my own poop hot dogs and stuff. What's that produce? Methane gas. And when God ignites this stuff, he's kissing you. And if you kiss him back, agree with him in his love, boom, it's going to blow up. Consume that little bit of poop thinking in the deep, deeper, deepest. And boom, bring you up higher and higher. Straight up will climb. Right? Right hand spins. Don't go to the left hand. You go down your own shitter like down the creek without a paddle. Whoop! Right down into the cesspool. Oh, uh, don't eat that stuff and call it good. Say, well, you know, it's a good one. We got all kinds of, we make all kinds of man-made law. Uh, that's bullshit. Worthless and detestable. Don't care what you, no man, ugh. All mankind's wrong. God's right. Huh? You gotta agree with God. I'm not arguing with you. Huh? No. You're sure arguing with God. You'll reap what you sow. Huh? You sow to the flesh, that fleshy thinking, that poop thinking, what are you gonna get? Methane gas. And if you're gonna stay there in the methane gas, you're gonna be stink. 
No matter how good, bad, it's all ugly. Uh, and then by the time it's like, man, I am the greatest. I'm just a pretty boy. Look how much I shine outside of the cup. Okay, Mr. Pharisee. Shine the cup, but inside's full of all kinds of dead man's bones, all kinds of ugh, garbage thinking. Hypocrisy. Ugh, bunch of shit. Right? Methane gas. Hmm? You're not cussing, saying, calling it. See? You're calling it. You're throwing a BS flag on it. Saying, man, that stuff's worthless and detestable. God is the greatest. See? Two opposing ways of thinking. Mankind says, oh, man, don't say that dirty word. But you can say, you can believe in with everything you got, and man. You're just holier now to say God's going to turn into a monster and get you, get you, get you. Just don't really say he's a monster, say you. Huh? They're, they're all double-minded. What's a double-minded man? A double-minded man, person, is unstable in all their ways. Come on, man. Let's come back to the stableness of God. God's loving righteousness. It's higher. It's superior. Let God explode. Consume this old stuff. Poop. It's good and evil. Eat from the tree of life and live. Come into the Zoe life, the fullness of life in God. Don't go down your shitter into that cesspool of your own good and evil thing and think that you're good and holy and you got a right and all kinds of messed up thinking. Just like in the last uh, chapter in the book of Judges, when there's no king in your land, in your mind, the rightful king is not ruling, you do all kinds of stuff. It's just wrong, it's messed up, it's, uh, huh? It's all over the place if you can see it, huh? Huh? Now, um, I'm going to quote, I, I could quote a whole bunch of stuff to you. So we'll try, try not to go too long on this. It went longer than I was, I was going to do an under minute one, but it just stopped, man. Got to go a little bit deeper here. But this is not stuff you, you may not be able to receive it yet. Do some little bits at a time. Hmm? And grow, grow, grow. Huh? Oh, you got to work out your own salvation, deliverance back to this SOAZ, the safe place in God, God's loving righteousness. Huh? Don't just hit a check mark and say, I did it, and now I'm going to wait on some rapture, rapture bus, and God's going to take out all the good guys. You got, God's taking out, blowing up this, giving you opportunities to blow up this methane gas, this poop. Your own crap thinking. And coming into his righteousness, not your own. That's eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Come back to the paradise of God where you're eating from the tree of life, from God's love. See, you can't find that on this natural earth. Huh? This globe. People want to say, oh, it's only natural. They, they don't understand. It's spiritually discerned. Come on, man. Come on, come on. God's the only one gives the increase, and he's doing it in his way, not your way. Green light God, kiss God back when he gives you opportunity. It's not just the easy peasy way. It's the only way I can do it. When it gets hard, oh no, I just throw my hands up and let my vehicle, my chariot, just go wherever and it'll be okay. And you're going to wreck, stupid. You did that going down the road, and you see a car coming down another lane, and they, they're on their side of the road. There ain't nothing going to happen, really. You just stay on your side. You throw your hands up into it, you might be in one heck of a bad wreck. Oh, no! A crash! Time on! Huh? You're not cooling off and going back to God. You're getting stupid. You're going to die, sucker, in the natural. And if you feed into that fleshy thing, you're going to die. To be carly minded is death. 
separation from God. You're not going up into God. You're going down the cesspool into your own crap thinking. Down the swirly. Woo, swirly time. Huh? You're being a bitch to God. God's offering, giving you opportunity to kiss him. Keep it super simple, stupid. Keep your eyes focused on me. Just like Peter out stepping out onto the water, out into God's thought process and walking on the water. When he took his eyes off Jesus, what happened? He began to sink. When you take your eyes off Jesus, Jesus, I-E-S-O-U-S, meaning Yahweh, Y-H-W-H, without delay, is salvation, is the safe place. Remember coming all the way down from the S-O-A-Z, hmm, Sozo, and Soteria. It means delivered, coming all the way down to the base of those, all the way down, is coming back to God's S-O-A-Z. That's the safe place. God is your safe place. Huh? Don't give none of that crap. Don't give no credit to no monsters, no man-made bull crap. It's God that is delivering you. It's a done deal. Just agree with God's kisses. Hmm? We'll be all right. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your mind. And lean not upon your own crap, your methane gas. Good and evil stuff. And God will direct your path. Bring you up higher. Right? All right. Trying to break this down. And I'm breaking it down for myself. I listen to these too whenever I'm feeling low and stuff. Man, going through all this hard stuff, and I went through it, man, for a long time. Oh, my Lord. But you got to come out of that stuff. You, and there's many, many, many different angles God's bringing to get those things out of you. So do it, agree with God. Agree with God. Kiss God back. he bring you up higher and higher and higher. Because you get one life to go through this. Huh, and then whenever, whatever level... God's burned up that old brain, find his nature, and you grew like that plants. Become a great forest, or to stay in this little bitty nothing state, that little bit, whatever level that his love is in you. That's what's going on. That's what's going back to the Father, one place. All that other stuff returned to the earth from where it came. Right? Ecclesiastes twelve seven. Huh? Three twenty and six six. That's a, that's three places there in Ecclesiastes, and that's by from King Solomon, the wisest man in the Bible, right? That's it. Huh? Right? Know you not that you are the temple of the living God, not some inanimate object? You pray continually without ceasing, man. In the fiery trials, God's in there with you. In the lions' den, God's in there. That beast can't touch you. Don't give credit to that carnal thing. Don't say there's some monster out there. That diabolus is telling you, man, that's a, that's an adjective. Come on, man. He's telling you, man, that sucker's a false accuser. Don't give that thing no place. That's a stupid thing. It's not no, don't be a little kid. Come on, grow up. It's not some monster out there. Imaginary fiction. Facade. That's bullshit. Come on, grow up. It's okay when you're down there, but don't stay there for the rest of your life. If you do, well, you, you just, you stayed in the methane gas. Let God blow that shit up. Huh? Quit calling God a monster. And he messed up, and he's terrible, and all this stuff. Quit entertaining. Quit feeding, partaking of that kind of thinking. And come back, God is the greatest. Just like in Genesis chapter 1, verse I think, 30 or 31, when God looked upon all that he had made, that he had formed, said, it's not just good, it's very good. He's talking about you, me, huh? all of us. This whole process and this whole thing, bringing it back so we can experience and grow in him, it's all good. It's all of God. Huh? Romans chapter 8, verse 28 through 39, the end of the chapter. That whole thing, man, if you get down in there and live it, experience it, learn, 
Oh my goodness. It's fathomless. Huh. It's not just words on the page. You think, oh my god, I read the book. Ba 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 ba. No, no, we don't. No, you don't. Because the deeper you know it, the more that you know, the more that you know. I don't know. Say that no is gnosko. Huh? It means like to intimately know God. That's that when that gas is blown up that from that poop, your incarnal mindedness, boom, consumed. And it's refining, being refined back up into God. And that's done in the heat, the trials, the fire, the lake of fire, divine purification. Carnal mindedness say, so, oh no, what's the devil? He's going to get you, get you, get you. Or God's going to get you, get you, get you. Uh-uh. Wrong thinking. That's opposed to God. That's anti-Christ. It's not the one world leader, No. You're letting that thing lead your mind. Shut that bitch up and agree with God. God's the greatest. He's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, and sovereign. Huh? Quit giving that other crap credit. That's a bunch of crap. Let God blow that stuff up. Agree with God always. As much as you can. Gain. Become a king. In God's kingdom. His Basilia. Sometimes they, we used to call it Basilia, but I think the, the Blue Letter Bible is pronouncing that Basilia. That's where they transform, translate as kingdom, like the kingdom of God, Basilia. That's, not, that's the realm of the kingdom of God. And it's not just the realm, it's the right to rule as a royal hero. Huh? Oh my goodness. Come up higher. King of kings and lord of lords, glory. Glory, that dense, weighty character of God. That bright, illuminating stuff. The fire of God. He's consuming and bringing it up higher. That poop and that methane gas down in your ship, your wooden ship. Oh, man. That's explosive. That God's... Like this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Boom, boom! This little light of mine is blowing up in my mind. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna let it shine. Gonna let it shine. Gonna let it shine. Boom! Blow up the methane gas in me. I'm gonna let him shine. Blow up the methane gas in me. I'm gonna let him shine. Blow up the gas in me. Cause I'm gonna let him shine. When God kisses me, I'm going to let him shine. All right, let's get let God shine. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, comment, positive comments on this. Let's lift God up higher and higher and higher. Shut that bitch thinking up in you. That thing is blasphemous. Shut up, you daggone dog. Hold tight. Hold tight that thing. Get to be a pro rodeo dude. Woo -hoo! Hold tight your own carnal stinking thinking. Give that thing no place. And come back to God. Let's be on fire for God. Boom, boom, boom. Amen.